Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to create yourself a GPX file, how to import it onto your Polar Watch through Polar Flow. So we better get started. Logging into Map My Run because that's the platform I'm using today. Create my route. Press where you want to start and then start pressing different locations on the map to map out your route. Some of this route I know already. I'm going to go up through here because I've never been here before. So it's a good way to test out if the mapping works. Once you're happy with it, give it a name under activity, run, and then save it. Now you want to download the file. So from here, press more, download GPX, and this will be downloaded onto my laptop. Now head over to PolarFlow and log in. Isn't obvious, but press on the star in the top right hand corner. This will take you to your favorites. Press import routes, then browser to find your file. Open it, and this will download onto your screen. Make sure it's the right route. Select what sport it is, so I'm just gonna put it as road running. And if you really want to, you can change the name of it here and press import. After a few seconds, you'll see it pop up. Just wanna make sure it's highlighted and that's done. Next, you'll just need to get your Polar Watch out and update it with your Polar Flow. May take a little bit of time, depending on how many files you've got to add to your watch. Now it's done, let's set up our run. Hold the red button, press the top left hand button, then you scroll down and you're looking for roots. Press the red button again, that's the file I need, so press the red button. As you can see, you've got several options. We're starting at the beginning, so let's press start point and press the red button. At the moment, I'm stood around, so I need to move around, waving the watch a little bit so that the GPS signal can see me. Let's start the run. So I'm not quite at the starting point at the moment. As you can see, it's telling me which direction to go. Once I'm in range, it will tell me to start and it will bring up the map. There are two directions, but you want to be going left following the brightest line on the map. If you're wondering why it's curved, it's because it's a roundabout. I've got no idea where I'm going, so this is definitely the best way to test it out to see if it gets me in the right place. Let's keep going. And it's obviously pointing to go down this way. I'm supposed to go that way, but they're building, but I'm pretty sure the footpath is just on the other side. So there must be a way around. And this is going to tell me I'm going to go the wrong way in a sec. You can still see part of the map on the course. It's not going to like this. There we go, wrong way. Sometimes it will point in the right direction that I need to go, but as you can still see the map on my left hand side. There we go, there's that arrow. It's trying to take me back to where I've just come off, but I'm going to carry on on this footpath because there is no entrance. And I was correct, it is just over there. It's pointing me in the right direction. And there we go, we can see the course again. And you need to follow the brightest line. So I gotta turn right, right here. And is it a footpath? There we go, back on track. Get ready, I'm about to finish the course. There it goes, job done. Yes, I didn't get lost and I made it back to where I started. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring that bell and check out for other great videos on my channel. Another day, another run, till next time.